Interesting to see that if we're able to. You can see this, this is the finished version pretty much of the film. It's got sound as well, but it's not got the music and all the sound effects that we have to re-record the sound. Right, right. You want to see the trailer to get you excited, you know? Yeah. We're already excited. That's a better sleep for you there. Okay. <laughs> I'll push it around a bit and then you can move. Well, I did the trailer part. I don't mind it. Brenda and Alan Critchley, Lewis' parents, were producers on the film, and here see the rough cut of the film. I, mean, I literally got that this morning. It's taken me days to do that. Oh. When I put it on the computer, it doesn't it didn't come out right. But when I burn it on the DVD, it, it looks all right. You know, on the screen, it's but this, the the fire I'll, I'll redo. But apart, apart from that, it okay. gives you a, a sort of a, a bit more an idea of the, the sound, the music. That's what is missing on the on the main wall. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you see all the sort of locations there, so you can see. It. Oh yeah, where was the castle? Was that in <laughs> on on the beach? Yeah, it was just the beach, you know, just at Brixham area, just up the road. Uh, uh, we weren't allowed on the ship, <coughs> and I saw on Google, just thought we'd go there. Wait, what was, was the ship? Man of the, the, the Golden Sky. Oh, right. yeah. To Norway, where there's a black church uh, by a lake. Uh, I was on a road trip with some friends of mine from Italy, and during the trip, the, we were talking about revenge is a dish best served cold. Um, so I was writing and it came to me one morning over breakfast and for the rest of the day I started writing these themes. And so there you see the black church in the film um, and various other film themes that I developed from 2009 until we started filming, which was this year, 2012, in February, in Devon. We went to the Golden Hind in Devon in a place called Brixham. Simon, the owner of the boat there, gave us permission to film on his boat for a week so we hired two uh, three bedroom houses for the cast and crew while we filmed there for the week and there you've got the authentic boat and the ship and then we were going to do the special effects in post-production and re-record the sound afterwards which is called ADR additional dialogue recording because the work that was going on the ship at the time and the background noise of the traffic it was difficult to get out of the recording. Well, the second week of Brixton um, in Devon, we were able to film the coastal shots where you see the dramatic sword fight between Megwin, the medicine man, played by Huggy uh, Haruk Meacher, and with Kai, played by Lewis Levy, coordinated by Ahmed. Hashimi and the swords we used were stage safe swords but they're real metal and the actors were able to uh, go through the moves a number of times so that the cameraman Vedat could shoot it from different angles and Ahmed helped with some of the editing of that uh, the main film was then put together following uh, detailed notes written by Selda who then took the whole film and put together a complete rough cut of the film. The shots of the boats on the water were quite remarkable because the boats themselves are very unstable. They're little canoes specially made for the film by a guy called Brian in Wales and uh, he made three of them and they work fantastically well but when you're rowing them it's not good for your back. So uh, 
I was delighted when we were able to use them on the sea and in the river shots that you'll see with Huggy Lever playing Gruesome, Paul Lasmar playing Baxter and Lewis Levy playing Kai. Well I thought I'd show you uh, a little bit about the film in the sense of its development from 2009 all the way through to 2012. Initially we had various scripts that I was working on and these detail different characters in the film. Originally the character Baxter was called Trucker at one point. Uh, we had a character called Mephistopheles and um, I took inspiration from some of the films that I enjoyed in the 1930s. It was also set in the present day until we found the Golden Hind location. The early two Golden Hinds, in one Brixham. in Leven, one in Brixham. As late as 2011, generous and 2012, a film on the ship. I estimate that we were between 40 and 60 drafts of this uh, film, both exterior and, and interior. Um, as you can see, I was always making notes and rewriting aspects of the film. So there's my handwritten notes there, just page after page of notes, um, and then I'll go away and write more as I thought about them. Um, so that's that, and then I'd have the storyboards. So as you can see, for each shot there'd be a picture that I could work from. Each scene had its own storyboard, its own shot, and I'd use little sketches which would enable me to work from. I was able to put together a trailer of storyboards and sketches. The actors had a read through at Lewis's house and in London. Paul Sugars, Ahmed Hashimi, Luke Reed, Vedat Balta, the cinematographer. In London, the cast have a meeting to go through questions and costume fitting before filming. Huggy Lever, Thomas Thoro, Hassan Dogan, Vedat yeah, Balta, Aoifa Forward, once, and Tayo Oyakoya yeah, try on the costumes from the Royal Shakespeare Company. Pilot emerges, followed by Fortold and Breton. Baxter is dragged off to sit next to the real Maru. Get to the camp. Free the kid before Pilot gets to him. You can pretend to care about me another time. So flat he is, such. It's not believable. <laughs> Maru escapes back to the camp. Baxter is sinking down. Baxter neck high in the mud. Pilot laughing. <clears throat> You're already as good as dead. You're only the ghost of the visitor you is the only way you can be saved. So tell me where our is boys. Baxter sinks lower into the mud. Storyboard, but I still realise it can be better, you know, and I think uh, one or two, three takes, you know, will the first one could be a little rehearsal. I know that's not very nice, you get a rehearsal and you're sort of doing the take, but in a sense, it's probably the best eco eco economical way, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, how, how long is it? Flexible, flexible is the script. Uh, well, it's, well, it's flexible in the sense that, um, it's not flexible in the sense of some of the scripts, because yeah. it's kind of tying into other parts. So when we film on the first day, it's coming from page 58 and then 32, and then 42 or something like that on the first day. It's suited around the actors, really, to start with. I kind of had a decision. I thought, well, I'll base it around well, the location. We're all there, and then I've got to base it around. We're just wasting our time here. But I, I want to try and reassure people that that's not the case. It's, sure. it's, it's nice to feel that people are there because they want to be there, and, and, and that they, they're aware that to expect that that's likely to be the case. Uh, I think. That's the norm. I mean, yeah. Well, it's not the norm, it varies, but I, mean, I, yeah. I think you find that a lot when you do television. You know, it, it, you know it's a film, you know, you, you get whisked back to your car and then brought back and, and stuff like that. And sometimes, if you like, I mean, a lot of when yeah. I did Pirate, I mean, we, we were. We were all sat around, you know, sort of like all day, and it was it was painstakingly long to oh. see. But you know, it's a He's got a mask on anyway, so yes, because it's then. Yeah. Maurice slaps him on the face. He turns away and then back with a wry smile. That's when he's. Yeah. I wouldn't have asked you if you'd been a good enough actor. 
Fading up two. Which is a line from a bit of a western I saw actually. I thought it was just a great way. It's just, yeah. yeah. It is, it's putting it's it into a, a film sorry. as well, it's saying that. Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't have asked you to, you were a good enough actor. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, maybe, Lewis? Yeah, yeah. Because this goes to us in another place. Yeah. Just punch me and knock me out. So the next time, I'm yeah. <laughs> she's already been dragged off. Yeah, I was just saying, how did that happen? Yeah, it's a shame to be. So that is me? Yes, yes, yeah. yes that's you now. Ah. Which is very <laughs> funny, actually. <laughs> that makes sense. So it's now it is Gretchen. Yeah, it's Gretchen that's Maroot. We won't be smiling after our wedding. We won't be smiling after our wedding night. How does it come to me? Uh, sorry, I can only love you if you love me more openly than I love you. You'll have to no. get used to living without my love. You may wish to be kinder than her last husband. He's the lucky one. Yours all. Yeah. yeah. This is the second one she's stolen. She's not actually supposed to. I, I moved it from on the table where she could grab them to up a bit higher where Chris she just finished one and went back in and got another packet. Well yeah, she's all <laughs> oh, food for she me. She doesn't like to live by the rules. Well, she gets the flavour, isn't it? Oh. It's shake, but she can... To fund the movie, Lewis designed and installed signs for clients in central London and traded his sign making services for sound studio services for additional dialogue recording. This footage was filmed by Rastislav Tomis, showing Lewis installing a wall graphic for a company in central London. Yeah, okay. Here you see the schedule. Scene 15, uh, the Queen <laughs> making wobble noises as he waves his arm, striking the flint from back to eyes wide and blank in the trance. The Queen is telling a ghost story, whispering. Including Saturday, if we needed it. Um, on the Golden Hind, for example. Second week, we've got three days there, which we filmed on the seashore coast. Um, then the following week we had five days. The first three were um, Peru puts on had two days in the St. Bartholomew's Great Church, the oldest church. Yeah, no, no. It's a bit old, it's an old feature. It's always in a few years. We're all perfect in our imperfections, anyway. I think we'll mostly be in the places the day before we'll get to go through the scenes the night before we actually have to do them. So we can make them work. Okay, yeah. And then once we're getting there to film, just have to do the locations we shot on. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, the idea today. Yeah, I'm doing the best I feel as possible. And on but, the know, river the, the scenes, the reality is a green screen. Um, we've got some field shots yeah. and have permission to film at the shack where a yeah. piece of green screen was first. Yeah. That was shot in yeah. Manchester. Oh, yeah. We then shot the day of green screen. Which we then were able to use for the underwater and special effects shots. So, going into the planning of the, the film, um, I met with actors following my looking at the. Uh, Wait! 
directory last year, which was 2011. I picked about 10 actors I liked and five of them agreed to do the film. Um, I was very fortunate that uh, they enjoyed the script and said it was a good script. So we had a, a supportive team on the film. Um, both Harry, Andrew, Raymond, were from the spotlight and I was thrilled to be able to work with them as I was with all the other actors in the film. So I then created a basic uh, logo for the film um, and then I created a shooting order for the film which uh, enabled me to put which uh, scenes uh, came in which order so the whole film was reordered just into the shooting order. So, for instance, on Monday, the first day of shooting, we were on the galley. Scene three, upper oh, deck, so and uh, the right shot yeah. with uh, Baxter, the no, pilot. That says you lost Baxter, your heart's not in your work anymore. Uh, and then we go to scene 34, which is page 54 of the script, which is uh, then pilot again, and Andrew. Second day, we filmed uh, following scene 36 the day before, uh, scene 2, which is the deck again, scene 2B, with Unsha, and then scene 5. So it's shot out of order, but so that's chronological. You're less likely to be ransacked by the media at that time. So Wednesday we're shooting Pilot with a new character, the um, suit sir, played by Thomas Thurrow. Um, you were the boy. Scene 28, uh, uh, and I think we then had Louis there as well. Um, so that's the shooting script order. So that had to be created uh, as well. This is a copy of the actual script. Um, 60 pages long. In it, you've got the these markers to help identify each scene for each day. So we sometimes shoot three or maybe four scenes a day. I so I'm too young to die. die in that way. And I'm not. So we finish yeah. it. Yeah. It took 16 days of filming for that. There we have a uh, an early storyboard. Um, some of these sketches were, these are some of the early storyboards. Yeah. Yeah. To just bring clarity to the, the, the image. I get Having written a almost complete draft of the film, I proceeded to make if it's really the suit little pictures why is he the working end of this script the pilot page. Dan Dan page. For years. So You're I story wrong. the whole film this If way. I'm wrong, that isn't your mother dying down below? This yeah. rough How? draft mm -hmm. with the computer reading it to me. And in that way I was able to get the feel, pace and the way the film came across much more accurately. So as a result of that I was able to cut the film down and make some changes. And one of the biggest changes was to cut out two pages of the <laughs> scene. You'll have to get used to, to living without my love. The character of the six He's the lucky one. He's the lucky one. That's me. Now, so, you've been dragged off now and it's him it's pretending him. to be you. Oh, it just is Maroon. This isn't trying to trick anybody. It looks a bit patchy, oh, okay. so... Yeah, 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 a lot of white yeah. Just thinking maybe um, something similar to... Uh, and pieces was quite yeah. a good place to see the plane. So I can sort of try and uh, look at the plane. Yeah, exactly, because I don't know if that's... I'd like that, I'd like something plain with that over, I think, is quite a good So these are the companies that, yes, have to be the main candidates for this idea. Yeah. These are the people uh, that I have approached. I have failed... Oh, she's done a shit. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the back of cameraman. This is Hello, how are you? Oh, how are you? Yes, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. What's up? Yeah, two or maybe... Oh, dude. Let's get rid of it. 
Is it joking? Am I asking? Don't worry about that. I'll probably need it in a minute. Uh, looking after the crew and, uh, and sort of making sure the film is working in, in the way that he's got his schedule. We will probably get it done in the way that gets the film finished. I know this is a lot of talk, but uh, I think today's... Oh, I like the character, the different characters. I mean, are you looking for more, like, quieter, less is more, yeah. but are you looking for more kind of facial expressions? No, no. Bottle and Gretchen wearing masks. Bottle and Gretchen wearing masks enter disguised among the dance. McQueen continued. Uh, begin the execution dance. Who's the victim? And it is sort of, I don't know what That's quite sort of easy. thing you wanted from yeah, him. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah, I'm sure. 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 Yeah, I'
This guy is just poor, dead, unsure. Since you've started stealing souls with Malik's book, I'll take no part in this. You'll be damned like unsure, and Amphisa's boy Kai will lead us to the Black Church. So the king will die in your place. Poor hole. Then it will not be me who dies. Oh! The book! Take this shit! The Black Book wasn't plundered and hand over the parasites. Then finish your mission. <laughs> bon voyage. Yep. You forget your lines. How about you? Okay, take it, take it, take it where you want to go. And three, two, one. Take your time and action. You've lost, Baxter. Mm -hmm. You're mine. Oh, not to get work anymore. I don't work for Director and writer of the feature film The Lost Mantle of Elijah. The Lost Mantle of Elijah is a cloak used in the past by Elijah. He used it to work miracles. In this film there is a character called Kai played by Lewis Levy and his character is given the mantle. In this film The Lost Mantle of Elijah my name is Lewis Critchley. I am the producer, the director and writer of the feature film The Lost Mantle of Elijah. The Lost Mantle of Elijah is a feature film that aims to entertain and inspire. The film was based on the biblical story of Elijah who worked miracles with his cloak called the mantle following his being taken up to heaven on a chariot of fire where he was still alive. His mantle was given to his apprentice, Elisha. We don't hear from uh, anyone about the mantle following Elisha's death. But what we do know is that when Elisha dies in the Bible, he instructs the king of Israel to fire the sacred arrows through a window to ensure the king's victory. Well, the king strikes the ground with these arrows only a few times and fires them through the window. As a result, he has a partial victory. So in The Lost Mantle of Elijah, the action adventure starring Paul Asmar, Huggy Lever, Harry Meacher and Aoife Ford, we see the mantle brought by the king, who's been killed, played by Thomas Thoreau, in the guise of his spirit called the Soothsayer. So the, the king's spirit, the Soothsayer, gives the cloak for Lost Mantle of Elijah to Kai, who is played by Lewis Levy, in order for Lewis Levy, uh, Kai, to prevent 
pilot destroying the body of the king, played by Thomas Thoreau. In doing so, the king, the soothsayer, is hoping that Kai will uh, prevent pilots killing his body and allow him time to raise from the dead. Following his resurrection from the dead, the soothsayer will then be a resurrected king and anyone who believes in him will then have the same power that Elijah had when he worked the miracles using the mantle of Elijah. What I was trying to say in this film was what would happen if we had the same power that Elijah had thousands of years ago and explore that theme in an entertaining and inspiring way. Uh, at the same time my influence is being the early 1977 Star Wars films and the Royal Shakespeare Company performances I saw from the late 80s onwards. I decided to base it around the actors availability and chrono chronological order of the actual film itself. So here we have the 11th of March all the way down to the 11th of April. So a whole month. You've lost, Baxter. You've lost your mind, pilot. Oh, that's a good word anymore. I don't know if you're a pilot anymore. Why are you still dead? Unfortunately, those I agree with them too. I'm not going to go from working for you. But you'll change that. Whatever it is you're after, I don't have it. I don't 
You will take this note to Moek, disguised as poor dead Unshar. Since you've started stealing souls with Malik's book, I'll take my part in this. Then you'll be damned like Anshar. And Amphisa's boy Kai will lead us to the Black Church. Pilate, I will release you, so the king will die in your place, porthole. Like them, it will not be me who dies. Now, Baxter, are you motivated again? I found this address to Mallet confirming the death pilot and persuading him to forfeit the arrows. My brother wants to be dead. <laughs> you will take this note to Malek, disguised as poor dead Unshar. Since you've started stealing souls with Malek's book, I'll take no part in this. And you'll be damned like Conshaw. And then Pisa's boy Khan will lead us to the Black Church. It's okay. It's. Oh, it's ready. I'm ready. And. You've lost, Porto. You've lost your mind, pilot. Since we salvaged you, Gruesome, you'll serve us. It's Gruesome. Gruesome. Cut.
goes in there. He should kill me. While you still can. Unfortunately, his arm don't remain dead. Look at who's working for you. But you'll change that. Whatever it is you're after. I don't know. Then finish your mission. Since we salvaged up. Why did I trust you? Before it does. I'm going to then finish your mission. <clears throat> you filming backstage stuff? Yeah. Okay. Scene 29, shot 3, take 1. Action. Give me a second.
action. I extend grace even to my enemies. Then you will return my mantle and work miracles through me. It is foolish to wish for that which will destroy you. I will not be unfaithful to my calling by joining those I was sent to destroy who covered the mantle. The mantle's power is irrelevant should you resist my grace offered to those like Kai. Only I was spared death. Only you decide how to spend eternity. Only you can prevent being torn from within. No! Cut. Very good. Nice. Is dead. Tell me where her son is or you will join her. I'm making a foolish mistake believing the son is Only if I believed you to be a sinner. Of course, you might have begun to want yourself simply. Your hand full of followers will need more than faith to believe you ever lived. this boy. Okay. Yeah. Start. Just if you, if it's okay, just do. Yeah. 
capture the okay, uh, let's countries. Let's do it. Just... No, only... So just order here, yeah? May I do this from outside? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, and one. Action. Anfisa is dead. Tell me where her son is or you will join her. You're making a foolish mistake believing this life is all there is. Only if I believed you to be a soothsayer. Have those who murdered become so conscious so soon? Your handful of followers will need more than faith to believe you ever lived. They'll need a miracle. Cut. And action. I'm rich. Having 30 silver coins doesn't stop you from being worthless. Which way did he go? He went that way. I extend grace even to my enemies. Then you will return my mantle and work miracles through me. It is foolish to wish for that which will destroy you. be unfaithful to my calling. Stop. I'm rich. Having 30 silver coins doesn't stop you from being worthless. Which way did he go? He went that way.
extend grace even to my enemies. You will return my mantle and work miracles through me. It is foolish to wish for that which will destroy you. Why not give him the mantle at that point? Yeah, do I have the mantle? Having 30 silver coins doesn't stop you from being worthless. Which way did he go? He went that way. and seek this boy. I come to collect my reward. that way.
until and work me as to yeah. me. There's foolish to us for that which will destroy you. And Fisa's son. That they didn't didn't let us on one day. We had that for the week, but they didn't let us on until one o'clock. So the uh, the guys filmed it, and we went just to check the beach out. We went from one angle, and then we realised if we stay at the bed and breakfast nearby, we can just she'll let us walk up from part there and walk up the other way. So uh, yeah. that's just the beach. It's just yes. a little cove. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's a, a sort of a location. It's just okay. but it's, you can just let's just add it how it is. It looks like a different place altogether. But when they were in the boats, was that at God Manchester? Yeah, just uh, like, yeah. over there. And I had to walk all the way back with the three of them and all the kit, you know, by oh, myself, right. you, know, uh, you know. Like a big snail. Yeah, yeah, and this is a piece of piss on it's, the, the editing with the cameraman. You know, there's only five crew members, so, and I'm one of them, you know, yeah. so. These boats, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't, if they don't you know, sail properly. No. Yeah. It's so easy to fall in, don't What did you do with those boats in the end? They're just in the back garden. Oh, right. Waiting for the flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the hole still there? No, it's filled in a bit more. Uh, it looked quite there. deep, you seemed to be falling right in. Yeah. Was it six foot inch down? I didn't notice the hole. Yeah. Did you notice the man not falling down into the earth? That was the hole in Lewis's garden. <laughs> no, it must, have, it must have been very quick. Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to sort of do it. So they're usually a bit quicker than that, I think. I, thought yeah. I just did it before yeah. I thought, yeah. Yeah. I put the sound down first, cut bits of the, the talking together from the recording we did, and then I put the music on. And then I put the pictures on, and then it, you know, it keeps crashing, and you're sort of trimming it, and then you put that special effect. So when they're hanging from that pit, that you'll see on here, they're lying, they're just lying on the ground, oh, right. the green cloth, you know, yeah. and it works. Yeah. So, mm. so if you want to see the, the film now, you can have. How long does it last? Yeah, it's an hour. You know. Oh, right. well, we can see. Yeah, yeah. See a bit of it, maybe not. We'll see it now, then we go have some lunch somewhere. Well, I've cooked uh, chicken and uh, broccoli. I've got potatoes here. If you want to. Well, it's, it's up to you. You've cooked it for us. I just thought it'd save you money. Yeah. You don't need to save money. Like, like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all fresh. It's potatoes, broccoli and chicken. It's a fresh. It's just right, right, well, whatever. Thank you very much for the effort yeah. you've gone to. So this is it. The greens. So is the sound in this or this is just the... Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, it's called a rough cut, so that'll be a, the sea in the background. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, music yeah. on there and the sound effects will be... Replay, you know, so the actual dialogue will be re recorded yeah, in the scene. Yeah. So you'd have started with perhaps this. Sort What's of, he looking at a compass? So yeah, that would make it a little bit more sense, but see, so yeah, that's Paul Triggers, you know. Is he on a boat or pretending to be on a boat? Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there's actually footage of him on the yeah, boat as well. Yeah. So I've done nothing, but this is, I've done nothing about this. Yeah, this is not my, my work at all, this just came from the post to me. Oh, I see. <laughs> Neil comes into the pool about now. Shh. These are instructions to the actor. Well, this is just the live yeah. footage. Yeah. It might be helpful. I know you've told me, but I've forgotten most of it. The, the basic story of this little one. Exactly. Well, I'll watch it see how it works for you if that's best. Alright, it's all right. It's all right. Whatever it is, 